Hey everyone, Red from Roto Heat back at it with another 2020 rookie profile. In this episode, we're talking about Henry Ruggs III, wide receiver from Alabama. Don't forget, if you've liked all the content you've been seeing from the Roto Heat channel here on YouTube, like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything that we're kicking out for this 2020 rookie class. In his three-year career at Alabama, he had 98 receptions for 1,716 yards and 24 touchdowns. And in 2019, he even added two carries for 75 yards and a touchdown. For athletic ability, we gave him an 8.5 out of 10. Um, you're going to see in most of these ratings, you know, Ruggs is definitely one of the better wide receivers in this draft class. Uh, the team sees a, a lot of talent with this young player from Alabama. Um, he's fast. You know, I, I would venture to say he's probably going to be one of the top ones at the combine overall when it comes to speed. Um, you know, uh, for the 40 time, you know, the kid is just a burner. Um, you know, and Alabama's got a very dynamic offense. And, and when you're watching the film, you see this kid pop off the page time and time again. You know, he's got great change of direction ability. Um, you know, he's definitely a person that's going to excite the scouts when they're watching footage. He's, he's another one of those in the molds of, you know, your Tyree Kill lights, your John Brown lights, those type of guys that really take the top off the defense. And, you know, and you see that play in and play out. For toughness, we gave him a 6.7 out of 10. Uh, definitely a willing blocker. He's not going to shy away from contact, but you know, due to his size, his effectiveness is a little, little so-so. Um, you know, he knows how how to use um, his body to try to to try to slow defenders down, but he's not a guy that's really going to in the at least in the the blocking game after the ball's out or a running play. He's gonna it's going to be tough for him, uh, a little bit tougher. You know, at that smaller stature. Uh, the cool thing though is is he fights for extra yardage. You know, when he's uh, going up to get a contested catch, he'll he'll fight with the corners. I mean, he's definitely not afraid to get in there and 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 throw his <laughs> frame around. He's just not the biggest guy on the field. For hands, we gave him a 7.7 7 out of 10. You know, the kid is as good as they come in this draft class when it comes to uh, his ability to go up and get the ball, to high point it. You know, he has great, strong hands. Um, definitely, definitely a guy that when you watch him, uh, it's an area that you're really not concerned about as he moves to the next level. Um, you know, this is definitely a plus. He's got good concentration. You know, when you're watching him play, you can tell that. Um, like some of the guys we've talked about that do concentration drops, you're not going to see a lot of that out of Ruggs. Uh, he's a very controlled player. Um, he's not very reckless, and it's really exciting. I mean, he does he does a good job time in and time out making big plays, not only um, tough catches, you know, but the easy ones. I mean, he's across the board just a really solid uh, hands receiver. For Yak, we gave him a 7.8 out of 10. Um, you know, in a lot of the scores, the fact that when he gets away, he's gone. You know, there's not many people on the field that are catching him. Uh, the cool thing about Alabama's offense is they moved him all over. You know, they, they schemed to get him the quick passes, and he was able to take some uh, very far. You know, he's, he's one of those guys that as you watch him, you really, you really see that big play ability and that, that ability to get Yak <laughs> play in and play out you know he sets up defenders uh, nicely with his athletic ability you know he does use his head nicely um, to to set him up and make a miss and you know and make him look silly at times so uh, yak is an area that we're really excited about for rugs at the next level for route running we gave him a 7.1 out of 10 uh, we did see on tape that he had a little bit of trouble getting uh, beating press coverage uh, that will definitely need to improve at the next level uh, you know but other than that his routes themselves are, are normally well run, very crisp, very clean out of his breaks. Um, you know, obviously with his big playability, there was expected a lot of, you know, very deep routes and things like that, or the short, quick passes so they get the ball in his hands quickly and let him use his athletic ability and his and his prowess to to get deep and make big plays on his own. But you know, there's definitely uh, some room to improve at this at this area and at the next level. Overall, we gave him a 7.6 out of 10. Uh, he's already being talked about, you know, as a first round, uh, kind of later first round prospect to a team with receiver needs like, you know, like a Philadelphia or somebody who had in this role last year, Deshaun Jackson, who put up good numbers when he was on the field. You know, like we said, we kind of comped him to some of those smaller speed receivers, you know, your Tyreek Hills and John Browns of the world. And everybody's looking for those guys. You know, everybody wants that guy that can take the top off the defense and, at this in this draft class there are a few uh but rugs is definitely one of the top ones um you know at this point obviously it's still early in the draft process but if he is a first round pick 
he will definitely be a first round pick in your fantasy drafts. You know, he's one of those guys that'll be in conversation for, you know, probably number three or number four wide receiver in the class overall. Also, right there, playlist. Hit it. Watch the videos. Do it. You want to do it. 